Hey Falcons fans, here's the Falcons update, where you'll be well informed about everything that's been going on behind the scenes, but before we get into today's news, be sure to hit the like button to stay up to date with all the latest Falcons updates. Now, let's dive into some news that's making people talk. Just days after joining the Atlanta Falcons, former Cleveland Browns wide receiver Jakeem Grant has found himself on injured reserve. That's right. Grant, who was brought in to help fill the void left by Rondale Moore's season-ending injury, suffered a hamstring injury during practice on Wednesday. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, this latest setback put an early end to what could have been a fresh start for the 31-year-old wideout. It's a tough break for Grant, who has battled injuries over the past two seasons. He was hoping to make a strong comeback with the Falcons, but now, with his season likely over before it even started, the team may consider releasing him on an injury settlement. If that happens, Grant could have the chance to sign with another team later in the season if he can get back to health. This situation really makes you feel for the guy. Just when he was trying to turn things around, this happens. But as hard as it is, the Falcons need to move on. What do you think, Falcons fans? Should the team stick with Grant in hopes of a miraculous recovery, or is it time to look elsewhere? Let me know in the comments below. On a different note, the Falcons have made a few signings, and you probably already know what the last two were, but what did the team think of them? Let's see. Falcons coach Raheem Morris couldn't contain his excitement when talking about what Juden brings to the table. He described Juden as a dog, the kind of player who can come in and make an immediate impact. Anytime you can add a dog, really, to your group and have him come in and be a part of it, that's exciting, Morris said. And it's not just Morris who's excited. Some of the Falcons players who know Juden personally are also excited about what he'll bring to the locker room. The excitement isn't limited to the coaching staff. Falcons players are already talking about what Juden's arrival means for the team. Safety Jesse Bates 3 couldn't be happier, saying, We're going to take him all day. You don't get guys like that who just show up and you can get someone like that before the season. Bates also mentioned how Juden fits the mold of what it means to be an Atlanta Falcon, a great player on the field, and a great person off it. Quarterback Michael Penix Jr. is also looking forward to what Juden will bring, especially during practice. That's a big deal, Penix said. I'm going against the ones in practice, and he's going to be there every time I'm on the field, so it's going to be a lot of great performances. And wide receiver Drake London summed it up perfectly, saying, pretty exciting. Anything to help this team win, I'm all in. Juden's resume speaks for itself, as he's a four-time pro bowler with an impressive career that began as a fifth-round pick by the Baltimore Ravens in 2016. His breakout season came in 2019, when he racked up 9.5 sacks, 33 quarterback hits, and 54 combined tackles. And he hasn't stopped there. In 2022, Juden had his best season with the Patriots, recording 15.5 sacks, 28 quarterback hits, and 60 combined tackles. That's the kind of production that has Falcons fans rooting for him to be the game-changer they've been waiting for. Raheem Morris knows firsthand what it's like to bring in a top-tier pass rusher midseason and see the impact it can have on a team. He's comparing Juden's arrival to when the Los Angeles Rams traded for Vaughn Miller in 2021. Morris was part of the Rams coaching staff and watched Miller come in, wreak havoc on the field, and help lead the team to a Super Bowl victory. Morris sees the same potential in Juden, describing him as a game wrecker who could be a key piece in Atlanta's quest for success this season. Now, Juden's arrival comes with some risk. He's 32 years old and recovering from a season-ending injury, so there are questions about whether he can still play at the same high level. And let's not forget that the Falcons gave up a 2025 third-round pick to get him, so there's a lot riding on this move. But as Morris pointed out, you never know how these things will play out. What we do know is that the Falcons are getting a player with a dog mentality, someone who has proven to be a dominant force in the league in recent years. So, Falcons fans, what do you think of this move? Is Matthew Juden the missing piece that will take our defense to the next level? Or do you think there's still more work to be done? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Another big move for the Falcons was signing Pro Bowl safety Justin Simmons to a one-year deal. This move comes on the heels of the trade for ace pass rusher Matthew Juden, and suddenly, our defense is looking like a whole different beast. 
Simmons is coming in on an $8 million contract with $7.5 million guaranteed to form what could be one of the league's elite safety duos alongside Jesse Bates III. Now, let's take a step back and think about where we were not that long ago. Remember the pain and frustration after every gut-wrenching loss, every blown coverage, and every interception that seemed to keep us from reaching greatness? Grady Jarrett's words after the game on Christmas Eve 2022, after we were blown out by a Ravens team without Lamar Jackson, still resonate. Same crap, different year, that was the mood for so long. A defense that couldn't get the job done, leaving us fans with nothing but hope for next year. But here we are now, Falcons fans. The vibes in Atlanta are high, and for good reason. Grady Jarrett's smile in recent interviews says it all. That smile is the relief of a man who is finally seeing the pieces fall into place on a defense that has been revamped and bolstered in ways we've been hoping for for years. From 2018 to 2022, we were one of the bottom three defenses in the league in terms of EPA allowed per play. But with the addition of Juden and now Simmons, the narrative is changing. General Manager Terry Fontenot didn't just sit back and hope for the best, he went out and made it happen. In the span of just 24 hours, he has transformed our defense from a liability to a potential strength. This isn't just a team that's going to hang around in games, this is a defense that can beat us when the offense isn't firing on all cylinders. For so long, we've been the joke, the team that almost made it, that couldn't close, that blew it. Our logo has been the symbol of heartbreak since the Super Bowl 51 meltdown. But this year, something feels different. There's a confidence around this team that's impossible to ignore. Coach Raheem Morris has treated these guys like they're already champions, and it's contagious. You can see it in the way they carry themselves, the way they play, and the way they talk about each other. We're now the favorite in the NFC South, and it's not even close. We have an offense that can score points, and now we have a defense that can stop anyone. And let's not forget, we're having fun off the field too. Kyle Pitts made us laugh with his latest uniform change, showing that this team has the swagger to match its newfound success. Falcons fans, it's been a long, tough six years, but now, everything feels different. The air of mediocrity is dissipating, and for the first time in a long time, there's a genuine sense of hope and excitement surrounding this team. Enjoy it all, because you deserve it. Now, I want to hear from you, how are you feeling about the moves we've made? Is this the year we finally turn things around? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We're in for a wild ride, and you won't want to miss it. See you next time. Go Falcons!